to become someone else, and especially a stranger, would mean, I imagine, something like falling completely in love. A colossal shift in your perception of all things opposite. Yes. To become something I'm not. This has long been my number one fantasy. But you must first come from somewhere before you can leave some place. First be someone before you can become another. Something before you're nothing. Unfortunately, that takes a lifetime. Hey, come on, wake up. That's us. This is it. I made it. You can't stand out there all night. You gotta get inside. What are you looking at? Jump for a minute there. Sorry. I thought I might lose the only friend I don't even know yet. 
What's your name? <laughs> you can call me Jazz. Ah, uh, cool. My name's Pop. Like Pop Radio. I guess I'm easy to listen to. What's that make you? The real thing? <laughs> well... I don't know, maybe. Anyways, it's good to meet you, Pop. All right, all right. Where are you from? Well, I... Uh... Okay, never mind that. Where are you headed? Oh, nowhere in particular. Coast, I guess. Oh, we're about to hit the coast. That's where I live these days. In the next city. I saw you looking all starry-eyed at the club. It's a big one. You don't know where the stars fit and the silhouette poked with little windows begins. Anyway, we better jump off soon though and walk in. This rally is crazy town. You wake up in there because you fell asleep or you weren't paying attention or something? Forget it. You know, it's kind of funny. People are strange when you first meet them. Maybe weird looking. Then you get to know them. You know what you like. And they look good. Or they look like they should. But then one day you change. And you wonder if you ever knew them at all. Do you know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. This was new territory for Jazz. The coast had long been a dream. Now it was so close. Before they'd even arrived in the city, these two found each other getting along like old friends. Coming from a world of confusion, looking, although maybe not so hard, for some comfort and answers, it looked as if Jazz were hot on the trail. Now, I don't want to spoil it for you, but this time, just wasn't in the cards. The mysteries had only just begun. They hopped off the train into the dark and walked many miles in the warm, salty breeze. Eventually through suburbs, then near the center, which was very close to the sea. In between two crooked and worn down towers was an even older, haunted looking building. Jazz followed Pop through the back alley, up the fire escape, many, many stories up. Higher than you would ever imagine stairs like that could take you. And then, there they were. Voila. Wow. This is it. <laughs> yeah, it's great. What a view. Yeah, what I tell you? You weren't lying. You got it made. My secret powers. You know it's kind of great like when the world forgets about the things you really love. Then you can get them back or something. This used to be an art library. Anyway, we got lots of room over here. You can set yourself up. Thanks. It's as if... When the indoors get too tight The outsiders Hey, look at that. Night's falling. City's going crazy. Hey, I gotta get to work in a little while. You should come along. Maybe I could get you something to eat. Hey, that'd be great. I mean, you should meet everyone anyways. I could set you up. You'll be doing... Guess they do. I don't know how long. The pleasure is all my day. Make yourself at home, have a look around. Anything you want, what's mine's yours now. There's some leftover wine.
slippery stairwell onto the shimmering streets, splashing through traffic, the scent of vendor street meat hissing, their feet clucking along in puddles, sidewalks of glass, all downhill to a haunted old seafood restaurant. Battered and bleached by the sun, it sat awkwardly on the edge of a tall cliff above an endless sea. The end of the world.
Rub it up and hold it to the light See the cutlery shine Chop it all up, now we're diving Budget all splashes and slides Lens rolling across the floor is up Spinning like an umbrella Through the flames, jump it, I'll tell ya to bed, eh? It was over in a flash. All right, we're done here. Let's see what's happening in the front. Hey, hey, Bob. Oh, Rocky. How huh? are you? Good. Mm-hmm. And how's the kitchen? Hot? Always. Yeah, well, maybe I can uh, help you cool down. What would you like? Mm. You going fast tonight? It's better to burn out than fade away. <laughs> or are we in for the long run? Seems like everything's burning these days. And here we are, by the sea, on the water planet, and still half of it a mystery. <laughs> uh, I'm in it for the long run, you know me. Yeah, <laughs> I know you. But uh, what about... Uh, your friend there. You're new. Okay, so everything is new for you now, huh? Well, I got a theory about change, you know? It comes down to long form and short form. Now, everything has a short version and a long one. And sometimes you can nibble your way through life and make it to the end. And in the end, it was a whole lot of things. But I don't go for that, personally, no. I think people today are a little afraid to commit. And I understand. I mean, it's not easy to commit to yourself, to uh, define yourself and make all your choices based on that vision. Nobody does that anyways. No, what it takes is a belief. I believe that commitment itself is not a sentence. It cannot be a mistake. And since in mastering in any art, well, in the end, we find ourselves reflected in it. Well, our, our world's reflected. That reflection is where you see it echoes. And in that echo is where one defines themselves. See? Now, when you're hanging on, you know, say maybe onto something spectacular, or maybe not, it's a lot of pressure to start looking at the exit, in case things don't work out. But they never work out. Nothing ever does. You just hang in there. Till the end. So, while you're hanging, what can I get you to? Long drinks? Short? You know what? You both should stick around. 
You never know who or what might show up or what might happen next. And don't go thinking you do either. It's always when you miss it. Besides, maybe this time you won't know what anything means until after it's over. <laughs> you just gotta follow through. Yeah. Take it from me. When everyone knows this is it, the next day everyone quits. All of those. the evening is about to begin their shifts. The last punk, the fist of resistance, the artist. Well, how punk is it working in a seafood restaurant? Well, 
there might have been a time when it was a, a high-paying job being a genius, but, uh, but today is not. We all get bills to pay of some sort, you know? And we're all friends here. We serve eye to eye. It's respectable. And I got heaps of respect for that kid. And everybody else around here does. It sounds like you're falling in love. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I must have fallen from somewhere, but it wasn't far from the ground. <laughs> My God, this world. This place. Okay, pay attention now. You might learn about a dying art.
that's it for me, folks. <laughs> hey, boss, I think I'm going to step out back. I'm done for tonight. You're the artist. <laughs> OK, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. For all who had sat witness to the service that evening, or any other night when the artist was at work, it was truly as if they'd experienced a little opera. Together, each movement played a part. The song of living, tragic as it was finite, at least in each night, running headfirst into silence, and with such grace and music. Pop took jazz out back for an introduction, and again, it seemed like kindred spirits had crossed paths. The flow was invincible. Hey, do you mind if we join you out there? Oh, not at all. I was just staring out, you know. How was your food? Oh, it was magic. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> well, it is my profession, as I said. You know, I'm no genius. People aren't genius. The natural world, this organism, this algorithm, that's genius. The lucky ones, we spin it and weave it day to day. Sure, it's our medium. Still, who makes the bed in the morning? Nobody does the dishes, except maybe you, Pop. Hey! <laughs> Most people, they're overwhelmed. It's a lot to swallow, this trip. People get down. Seems like most of the time. Down on each other, too. Disappointed, maybe, when expecting at least something else from someone else. Or is that some kind of backwards faith? Or something like it? <laughs> yeah! Tonight. Get an idea from the 
out of here. Yeah, where to? I'm going down by the docks. Maybe something fun is going on. Anyone want to join? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sure. All right then. Let's go. Hey. Huh? Once down by the sea, all in much better moods, things got a little inspired. They climbed onto a seemingly abandoned boat to have a look around. And there was a lot to look at. It was a big boat with all the fixings. Well, what do we have here? <laughs> a few friends came by from the restaurant, and the party got pretty wild. Apparently, the boat had been left abandoned for a few days, with his crew out raving in the city clubs. Tonight, they returned to find their boat broken onto, and some strangers getting into their fun supplies. Although, since everyone was in such high spirits, they got on fine with the party, which kept growing and growing. It went on and on. It was a yammering, swinging, jamming good time. Woo! And though the night grew thin, and the dawn began to spill out, it was looking as if the artist was coming to a conclusion. Some deep inner resolution. And somehow, a song began. Oh. What am I doing? Oh. I can't go in today. about the restaurant. What about it? They need you up there. They're waiting for you. They need me? Who? They can have it all. I'm through. I've been waiting for too long. It's got to change. I'm not going back.
been raging all night. Maybe you should get some sleep and think about it. See you in a little while. God. 
It's been closed for years, Jazz. Those people like that. The things that they said was it all in my head. Do I dream alone? Possible to believe? Well, after all that's happened, I guess not. You are wrong. You're wrong. It's important to know that you're wrong. I don't mean to acknowledge, okay, I don't know everything in this world, but to accept that some things you know to be fact, truths you're certain you know, are wrong. You were wrong about some things you're positively sure about. And doesn't that inspire you? That must be the explanation for so much of what you don't understand. Not that you don't know. Just that you're wrong. Of what I can't explain. Oh, 
To insinuate that the road less traveled on is a road at all other than everything other than roads. That's an insult to both the known and the unknown world. To emerge a real life butterfly, one must permanently defy their world of caterpillar. I guess I care a great deal what I am to my surroundings. Whether I'm too loud aesthetically or phonetically, though I don't wish to blend, my fantasy is to embrace, to enable. And it's such a fine line when surroundings are forever in bloom and, and ever wilting. So then, where do I lie? In my consistence, there's a truth, untellable to all. Everything had changed so suddenly. Jazz was let down, way down, as if waking from a beautiful dream you'd come to count on as real. Maybe if you lost your sense of direction before that, at least now you know what you want. If only to get back to your Oz somehow, to find your friends again, people who open up their world to you and have opinions and stories and styles all their own. A sense of adventure. Jazz realized that this was the turning point, that this was a vision of great depth. Standing on the half-cave roof of the restaurant, there was that impossible view of both the city and the sea in the distance. Ships pushing way out on the orange skyline. Trains hushing along the coast. Jets leaving long scratches in the purple sky. Just before the stars beginning to burst. The flame of city lights. And the glow of the freeways. All of it had changed now. All of the complexities had simplified. A new state of mind. And when it seems like anything is possible, suddenly you hear that interstellar music and it thrills you back to life. The ghost.